Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have Star Wars The Vintage Collection Cad Bane from the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and help me to build my channel. Thank you very much. Uh, man, just seeing Cad Bane executed in live action, I loved it. A, a lot of people complained about him. Uh, his skin color was a little bit too light. He didn't look the way that he did in the Clone Wars. Um, his face was not long enough or skinny enough. A lot of complaints like that, but I thought he looked really good. He looked very menacing. It looked like he was straight out of uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, the classic Clint Eastwood film. Um, just looked fantastic. And here's another character that just came out of the Clone Wars uh, TV show and uh, just uh, translated so well and he was so cool. Uh, as well as, you know, characters like Ahsoka and uh, Rex. And then we got the Rebels characters who are going to be on the Ahsoka TV show. Uh, so it's just very exciting to see some of Dave Filoni's creations making it into live action because uh you know to me he's he is the hope of the future of star wars he cares about it he knows what's up he's uh sort of like the spiritual successor of george lucas and uh he just does good stuff in my opinion so uh let's uh bust this figure out and check him out very happy to have him <laughs> i got my figure uh from china early uh it got decimated in the mail uh so i'm a little bit disappointed about that thankfully i'm not really a card guy so the fact that it's all mangled isn't that big of a deal to me just as long as the figure is not destroyed so nice image from the show uh even though the car my card is destroyed as you can see really bent up and mangled um that's from uh, that great scene when he had the standoff with uh, Timothy Oliphant's character. Uh, so here we have on the back VC283. Um, if you can see that there, VC283. Um, from the wave we get <laughs> a Kith Kithaba. I don't even know how to say that name. Uh, he's a skiff guard. Uh, Nikto, another skiff guard, woof, <laughs> uh, Salit Moray, uh, Moff Jer Jared, I'm going to do a video on him, uh, Nyan Noob, and Boba Fett, uh, in his Tuscan clothing. So, uh, I already cut the pill with an X-Acto knife, if you want to preserve the cards, but also take out the figures, that's a good way to do it. And let's let's get a look at this just uh, awesome looking figure. Uh, even his blasters look great. They look like uh, old western pistols. I love the handles. Uh, let's take a look at those. You can see that there. Uh, I'm not seeing any paint detail or anything like that on this, but that's okay. Just a nice simple pistol, nice rounded. Uh, Hilt there, or handle, excuse me. Uh, and there's the other one, the exact same, so that's really nice. Uh, let's see how it fits into his hand. His big, uh, he's got he's got real big alien hands, uh, as you can see on the show. So we'll put those in there like so, and. That's nice. <laughs> like his his hands look uh, cartoony. Um, the cool thing about Cad Bane is uh, he's Boba Fett's mentor. Uh, he taught him how to be a bounty hunter. Um, actually, one of the uh, episodes we never got to see in the Clone Wars was uh, the backstory before the show got canceled. Let's take a look at him. He's uh, got his nice... Uh, apparatus on the back there i'm not sure if that's for like breathing uh the coat is a nice soft plastic uh looks really good on the inside so we'll check check out the articulation 
Uh, so the hat is removable. Love that. Really nice looking hat. Let's get a good look at that face there. So it's hard to see uh, in the lighting, but it is a lighter looking blue like on the card. I, I know it doesn't look like that on, uh, in camera, but uh, it, is, it is a lighter looking blue to the eye. But in camera, it looks like a dark blue, like it does on the show, uh, on the Clone Wars cartoon show. So, I don't know, some people may like that, other people won't. So, oh, nice, he's on a really nice ball joint in, uh, in the abdomen there. So we can have a little bit of a crunch and a, a complete rotation there. Uh, just look at the detail on his gun belt, that looks great. Looks so Old West. Looks really sweet. Uh, I am assuming his head is on the double barbell. Yep, it is. And uh, like I said, it's linked up to... I believe this is some sort of a breathing apparatus. Or I'm not sure. Somebody tell me in the comments. I forget uh, what the function of this is. Uh he just had such a cool, menacing voice. I loved it. I love seeing him in live action. Uh, the guns go in the holsters there. So that looks really good. Uh, they're kind of loose, actually. So I feel, like, uh, I feel like these guns can fall out pretty easily. And there, there's even a cut in the back there. So, yeah, that's kind of strange. You can jam them down in there. Let's, uh, let's take this coat off and see what he looks like without the coat. Just a really great looking figure. Okay. Yeah, so he's got these long alien arms. Uh, what else do we got here? So his elbow only bends not even quite 90 degrees. So I don't, I don't like that. We got rotation in the wrist. Uh, we got the weapons holding uh, wrist hinge, um, the vertical instead of the horizontal. Uh, we got the great, wonderful T hip joints, which I love, instead of the the Y joints. So it looks really good. All Star Wars figures should come with these joints now. Uh, in the three-quarter inch scale. I don't know why they still do those Y joints. Uh, it just, this is the perfect joint. It's the classic G.I. Joe joints. Um, they still have done um, the new Luke Skywalker figures dirty by doing that. I hope in the Jedi training outfit he has the new T joints. Nice bend in the knee there. His boots look fantastic. Look at those boots. Uh, lined with, um, looks like bullets, but I don't, I don't know, laser cartridges, I guess that's what we would call those, blaster cartridges, uh, nice ankle uh, pivot, and then we got rocker, yeah, so, or ankle hinge, up and down, and then pivot or rocker, whatever you want to call it, so really wonderful articulation, uh, once again, a really good look at the face. Here's what he looks like from the back. And let's put his hat on again. You get the hat on there nice and... Wow, that looks great. Really, really wonderful, beautiful figure. Very impressive. Um, so yeah, that's Cad Bane, everybody. If you like the figure, or if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I highly recommend this figure. He's awesome. And uh, may God bless you all. Peace.